So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're gonna continue with the Healing Stitches Afghan. We're picking up today starting on round number 24 and just gonna go some way and then that's it for today. So this is continuing to use our J size six millimeter crochet hook and our yarn that we've been choosing all along. So I'm going to continue in the same fashion of making this in a wedge format like I explained on uh, the first video and we're gonna continue now. So let's without further ado, let's get started. Round number 24. When I last left you, we had slip stitched to the corner to start round number 24. So let's begin where we are sitting right now. We're gonna continue and make this corner complete. So just chain three and then one double crochet into the corner. Chain two and two double crochet. So in the corners of this particular round, it's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We're then also going to continue then all the way across using the back loops only and we've already done that before way back here in this section. See that line? So we're gonna be creating that again now. So every stitch across is going to be one double crochet in the back loop only and when you hit those corners just two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I will do that and I'll be back in just a moment where we'll finish up round number 24. So I'm coming around on number 24 all the way and you're still doing your back loops as you approach the final corner and then make sure that you get right into the very end. So you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three and then we're going to move on to round number 25 in just a second but what I like you to do, you can either end your color here and add a new one to the edge or just if you're gonna keep it just slip stitch to the corner and let's begin row number 25. Row number 25 is the same as doing the back post that you have here and so it's gonna create that another ridge. So when we go to start this one, we're going to begin by chaining one. That will not count as a stitch and you're gonna half double crochet, chain two and half double crochet. So in the corners of this particular round, it's gonna be a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Starting in the very first one in every post, go in the back post as we demonstrated already before and just back post double crochet each stitch across and then turn your corners with one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. Please do that all the way around, round number 25. I'm coming around on number 25 all the way to the beginning again. So I just did my back post double crochet and once I've done the last one just slip stitch then to the beginning half double crochet. So ignore that chain one as we talked about already before. So we're going to move on to number 26. So just slip stitch to the corner and let's begin 26 now. So right where we're sitting we're gonna start number 26 and this is a crisscross that we've done before but it's slightly different than before. So it's just gonna be how we start each side. So we're going to chain three counts as your double crochet and then double crochet again, chain two and double crochet twice more. So that your corners in this particular round are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So before when we've done the crisscross, we put in one double crochet by itself and then we started crisscrossing. This time we are going to crisscross immediately. Remember that the first stitch here, if it's buried under here, is right here. Okay, people think it's here but it's here. So you're gonna skip this stitch, go to the second over, and double crochet and then just go back and get the one you just jumped over and a crisscross is made. So what I need you to do is crisscross all the way across. So skipping one, double crochet in the next and do that. So what I'll do is I'll see you on the first corner just to make sure that we're confirming this and I'll be right back in just a moment. I'm coming up to the first corner turn. So it turns out and it should be is that you're going to crisscross all the way to the corner. So there will no be, not be any spare stitches after the final crisscross and then you'll head right into the corner. And remember it was two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you'll start the next side the same way that we did before. Just immediately crisscross right out of the gate. Remember that because it's half double crochet it gets hidden. So just shift things aside if you have to. And so skipping this one, go to the second and then come back and begin to, uh, to continue to crisscross all the way across. So please do this for the remaining of the round and I'll be back in just a moment at the end of this round. So when you come back all the way around you're crisscrossing right to the very end 
there's no extra stitches there and when you get that last one in just slip stitch yourself to the first chain three and then we're going to move on to round number 27. So in order to do that I would slip to the corner and if you're going to change your color then do that and then join it at the corner. Let's do round number 27 next. In round number 27 we're going to have a nice easy round again. So just chain three, double crochet into the same corner, chain two, two double crochet again. So the corners two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch going all the way across, turn your corner and then meet, meet me back at the end of this round and this is round number 27. Coming to the end of number 27 we're just double crocheting as we talked about before or as I talked about before. I always say we, I don't know why that is. The royal we, right? So once you get all the way around just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and 28 looking ahead. Let's get ourselves back to the corner so if you are changing color then you'll start in the corner and if not just slip stitch there and let's start round number 28. In number 28 Jeannie is gonna give us a good time. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. She's giving us two easy rows in a, in a row and you're just gonna chain three, double crochet, chain two and two more double crochet. So that's your corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So it's a winner winner chicken dinner and it is one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and complete your corners and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is lucky round number 28. Winner winner chicken dinner. I'm coming to the end of number 28 and it was nice to have that round so I could just let my mind just wander off and I can just slip stitch then to the beginning chain three and let's get ready for lucky round number 29. Now I'm thinking it's all lucky and slip stitch to the corner and let's begin number 29. Number 29. Let's here we go. We're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into the same space and what we're going to do then is that we're going to join this space like we did in the very beginning of this with the half double crochet join. So we're only putting in one single crochet in there for now. So slamming in a single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and the corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and I'll be back in just a second or so and I'll show you how to just finish this round number 29. So coming around on number 29 you can see I starting a little bit further back on this cut corner because I'm just worried that there might be lasers <laughs> with Jeannie's pattern in the future. You just I just don't know because I'm not reading ahead because it's actually kind of fun. It's almost like a mystery for me. So when I come all the way around I'm going to single crochet into the very first one that we started with and do that half double crochet join to the first single crochet. So when we go to start the next one we're gonna be using that post as the base for the next round. So let's do number 30 and let's see what's going on here. <laughs> there might be lasers. Let's start round number 30. You're going to chain one, won't count as anything and you'll half double crochet into the space. Now we're going to get started and in each side will be the same. So how it starts is going to be unique. So just make sure that each side starts the same way. So you're going to double crochet the first two stitches. Then the next one is going to come down and you want to just kind of trace it down two rows below. This is the alpine stitch and double crochet into that post around that front post. That will count as the stitch that it's sitting in front of. So the next stitch is the second one and then you'll double crochet the next. So when you keep jumping down you're going to be literally skipping over one here. So the next one is a front post double. So come on down and then the next one is on the line. Just make sure you, that you skip over the one that the last one is sitting in front of. So it's just basically up and down all the way to the corner. So I'll see you at the first corner turn in just a moment. As you're coming across on number 30 the last front post double crochet is the very last stitch. That's not a mistake so just go with it. What mommy wants mommy gets. That's what Jimmy wants so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do the last one as a double crochet on its own and then we are going to then head right into the corner. So in the corner then we are going to just put it in your half double crochet, chain two and then half double crochet. So let's just a review one more side. So the first two out of the gate or the corner I call it. I say gate I don't know why but uh, first two is double crochet. I'm thinking horse race and then 
you're going to then just drop on down. So see it's the second one in. So even though you're finishing on the last one here, it's the second one in on this side. And then you'll drop on down. So come on down and then double crochet the next on the top of the line and then jump on down. So jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down. Do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 30. So coming around to the end of number 30 and remember that that last one is jumping on down, right? And then you have a du double crochet left and then in the last one you're going to half double crochet and do that sweet half double crochet join to the first half double crochet. How many times can you say half double crochet in a row? <laughs> Apparently three times. Let's uh, move on and we're going to go to lucky number 31 next. Number 31, nice easy round with these alpine stitches you do get a break in between the jumping up and jumping down because this is your yoga treatment, right? This is the healing stitches afghan too. So you're just going to chain one to get yourself started, single crochet into the same spot and we'll finish that corner when we get back around. And then just don't forget this chain one that we started with is not a stitch so don't you dare add a new stitch because then you'll be emailing me and say I added a new stitch, why? And I'm gonna say I don't know. <laughs> So you're just gonna slam in one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. Your corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and I will see you at the end of this round, round number 31. Coming around on 31, you're gonna go right to the very end and then remember you do need to put in a single crochet there and give it a quick join with the half double crochet to the first single crochet. Let's move on to number 32. Let's begin number 32. This is definitely an up and down and, and workout. Holy cow. Now we have to do the crisscross applesauce. Well basically the crisscross that we did before. Last time we did the crisscross we had uh, not an extra stitch before we started the crisscross. We're gonna have that extra stitch in this one here. So we're going to just chain three. Counts as a double crochet and you are going to put in another double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. As you start each side you need to start with the first double crochet just standing by itself just you know whistling Dixie and then skipping the next one going to the second over that's when you're gonna start your crisscross stitches once again. You'll be crisscrossing all the way to the first corner where I'll meet you there in just a moment and uh, just follow the bouncing ball as we go across and I'll see you there in a moment. So I'm coming across on number 32 so I'm just crisscross right to the end and then you're going to do your corners which will be two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. And remember that when you start a new side you have to have that standalone sing, uh, double crochet by itself and then you can start, sorry, double crochet and then you can start your crisscrossing after that. So skipping the next one and crisscross and etc. So I'll see you at the end of round number 30. One. Coming to the first corner of round number 32 so all stitches are accounted for and then in the corners it'll be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now as you're starting a new side just keep in mind that you do need that one double crochet that will stand alone. So just in the first one just move things if you have to get access to it. So that one's gonna stand alone and then you start your crisscross from that point continuing around. So I'll see you at the end of round number 32 in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way back around you're gonna crisscross right to the end of the where the corner starts and the corner is already started com is already completed at this point. So you're just going to join to the top of the first chain three and what you're going to do then is either change your colors out or just slip stitch to the chain two space which is next and you'll start round number 33. Round 33 is a winner winner chicken dinner so just change uh, chain up three. My tongue hurts today and it's a double crochet and then chain two and a double crochet. So the corners for this round are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now each stitch all the way across is just one double crochet in each. Turn your corners what I just said and I'll see you at the end of round number 33 in just a moment. So I'm at the end of round number 33. 
I have improvised here. I'll just uh, make a note of that here in the video. So what I did is that I created the corner first and then I went into the corner so the corner was completely done. So when I came back around I just slip stitched. Um, technically what I should have done is I chain up three and then one double crochet and then started double crocheting around and therefore came back into this corner to put two double crochet with the half double crochet join. So I just wanna let you do I did make a mistake and I'm and I wanna be clear about that. So if you did it the way that I'm showing you here, just slip stitch yourself to the corner to take you to round number 34 and I'll make a note here right now so I can record this in the video. I wrote my note so I can catch it during editing. So round number 34. So we're gonna just chain up one right where we are and you are going to then just single crochet into the same spot. That would be over a half double crochet post if it, you did the half double crochet join. It's an easy round. Just one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and corners will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this. I'll see you at the end of round number 34 in a moment. Coming up to the end of number 34, you're going to single crochet right into that last space and then join with the half double crochet right into the first single crochet and that will complete that round. Let's move on to number 35. Number 35 we're gonna be doing the alpine stitch that we did down here once again and we're going to chain one, doesn't count as anything and you'll do a half double crochet in the corner. The corners on this particular round are one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. Starting in the very first stitch you're going to put in a double crochet and then the next one starts the jump down right here. So we're going to do a front post double crochet down there. That remember that counts as the one that it's sitting in front of and then just double crochet the next. So you're doing your aerobics so jumping up and jumping down of just doing your double crochets working your way across and you'll do this all the way across for the side. I'll see you at the first corner and we'll make sure you're getting off to the to the right track. I'll see you back here in a second. So I'm coming to my first corner and you'll notice that we're coming right to the very last one. So we started on the very first one that was out of the corner if you recall and then we're finishing on the last one. So the stitch uh, multiples changed between the time that we did it before to the time that we did it now and that's why it's a separate little instruction. So remember there's one double crochet before the turn and then in the corner here it'll be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So remember as you get started it'll be starting off with the double crochet to begin and then you'll be jumping on down and etc. So jump up, jump down and I'll see you at the end of number 35 in a moment. Coming up to the end of number 35 you will have a double, uh, uh, a front post double that comes down. You have a double crochet left and then you have a half double crochet in the corner and you'll be joining it with the half double crochet join. And that was round number 35. Let's move on to round number 36. So round number 36 you're gonna chain one and you'll do one single crochet and you'll be finishing this corner when you get back around with the half double crochet join. So you're just going to slam in um, stitches. So just remember this chain one that created that was before the half double crochet is not a stitch. So you'll go into there. So it's one single crochet in each stitch. Corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. This is round number 36. I'll see you at the end of the round. So I'm coming to the end of number 36 and you're just going to continue to single crochet and then in the corner you'll single crochet and then join it with the half double crochet join. So this is where we're gonna end today. So this is up to round number 36 and uh, we've done a lot already today and we're gonna continue again next time in the next video. Have a good one and we hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.